a new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you Vetsy's April mystery box and what is inside. I get quite excited about these mystery boxes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, there's also, right, by the way, my kids are at home for two weeks, so please excuse any noise in the background. They're playing Roblox with their friends and they're very noisy. Um, okay, so um, they also asked if I wanted to review a gel polish set and I was like, oh, yes, please. And I chose one. Um, the one that I chose is in this mystery box here, but it is not part of the mystery box. So this is the board thing that you put the swatches on and this is the gel polish set that they sent the wrong one by accident. Uh, this one is actually called Vision, but I'm going to show it to you at the end anyway. Just please, um, please remember that it is not part of the mystery box. But you might get one in yours, I don't know. Right, so there was a little paw, can you see that little paw palette there? That's really cute. Uh, then there's some rhinestone glue, which is like gem glue, which I'm quite interested to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a few of the bits in this box at the end just to do... I was going to do a set of nails and I actually realised they're not... they don't really go. <laughs> it's kind of a mishmash set, so... But I wanted to try some of the things out anyway because they're really cute and I want to see what they're like. They sent me some hand cream! They must know that I pick my nails and I desperately need to put hand cream and cuticle stuff on. Um, yes, cuticle oil. Uh, right, so this is a little nail art, little, like, little, we're going to use some bits out of here, actually, for the, for the nails. I thought we'd try out the gem glue with these little metallic, I don't know what the word is, embellishments. And there are these cute little, I'm just going to take them out of the packet because the light hits the packet and sometimes you can't see very well. There we go. So they are like sort of like little cluster shapes. But they're quite cute, aren't they? I'm not going to use those today, though. I will show you what I am going to use as well in a minute. This was another nail art wheel. I actually really like these. They remind me of like antique jewellery. And then you've got the, the two down the bottom with... I can never remember that lady's name. Marilyn Monroe's one of them. And she's an actress, isn't she, the other one? <coughs> remind me in the comments what her name is. You'll say it, you'll, I'll read it, I'll read the comments and I'll be like, oh, duh, yeah, of course it is. Um, <clears throat> but these are lovely. They're quite big and they're like cabochons, which is nice. So they're, they're you know, domed and smooth. And I'm going to pop one of those on as well today uh, on, on, a, on a nail so that we can... That's the magnet for the gel polish set. And then we've got some, so you know, like gold leaf? This is like coloured gold leaf. But I tell you what I like about these. I quite like the colours. They're quite nice. But I like that they've already managed somehow to cut the gold leaf up into lots of little pieces. Because that's what I find really awkward is cutting the gold leaf up. Look, there's lots of little pieces in there for you already, which is brilliant. And diary. And then we have got... Oh, I tell you what, I was so excited about this. I didn't know they'd done this. So this is like foil glue foil gel sorry so we're going to try this out today as well and i'll give you my verdict on that <laughs> excited oh yeah which brings me on to the next three items which are boxes of foils now i have a i, I tell you what i like about this i like that the packaging is smaller but they're still in those little plastic boxes so that makes them easy to store i like that the only thing that I don't like is that the foils are all packed together, so you can't really see what's inside. Whereas with those other boxes, all the foils are, although the packaging takes up more space, you can see what's in them. So it has a plus and a minus. I really like that one. That's really nice. So this is a marbly packet. Then the next one is a florally packet. We're actually going to use... Yeah, I'm sure it's this one. Yeah, we're going to use some of the foils from this set today with the foil glue the foil gel aren't they cute and you can cut all those, you can cut the individual flowers out if you want to which i thought was quite nice so you've got like a variety of different colored flowers and then this next one again is a florally set but you've got some these ones are there's a few opaque foils uh, whereas the other the other ones that the last ones were kind of, a, you know, they had a clear back in, if, if that makes sense. Like a clear, yeah, you know what I mean? Look, these are all, all, apart from these. I actually really like this one. You've got like, like, a, yeah, and I like this one as well. 
How cute is that with the bubbles? <laughs> I love these a lot. I really like those ones. And this one, I really like this one as well. Aren't they nice? And then these like little blossomy ones or petally ones. And see this one's got a clear, this one's got a no like a see-through, a see-through backing is what I mean. And uh, yeah, so again, some really nice florally ones. Um, and then we move on to this uh, buffer thing, which is good for natural nails. I need one of these actually, because my nails need sorting out. <laughs> and then I actually really, really like these. Oh, I was like, ooh, these are nice. Um, they are little alphabet letters. Alphabet letters, look. And you get one of each letter in this. So it might make it quite awkward if your name's got more than, like I couldn't do my name because my name's Natalie and I've got two A's in my name. So I just have to do Nat. If I wanted to put Nat on a name, on a, if I wanted to put Nat on a, on a nail, yeah, I couldn't do Natalie. I'd have to do Nat. But I was just like trying to turn them all over here. And um, yeah, but there's definitely 26, one of each, which is really cool. I wanted more of these actually. <laughs> oh dear. So that's them. So they're kind of they're like a gold metal with some clear crystals in. Which I like. And then in here is they usually put one of these in um, for like swatching. For swatches. So yeah. You can swatch your colours on those. And then this is a brush. This one is for doing your French your French um, free edge. I can't use these. I don't know how to use them. Um, <laughs> I also, there was a little bit sticking up. It was like a little bristle. It wasn't quite round. So I tried to use my brush to round it out and I actually ended up ruining the brush, which was a bit stupid of me. So yeah, my bad. Um, this is another reflective glitter gel polish. Not gonna lie, I was super happy when I read that. <gasps> Look at it already. I've not even got a torch on it and it's like, <laughs> And it's kind of like a coppery colour. So come autumn, that will be really nice. Okay, then we are moving on to our selection of solid colours, solid gel colours. Now, the only downside to a mystery box is you don't know what you're going to get. And actually, I had three duplicates of these colours, which is typical. But this one is, a, is one that I don't have. This is number 52 Express. I really like this colour. I really, really like that. Uh, then this was Maldives, which I already have. So I'm going to put that back in the box. I'm actually planning on doing a pay it forward giveaway at some point. Um, so because I've got two of these, this is the one that I've already opened. As you can see, it's a gorgeous colour. Um, that one that I haven't opened will be sealed and popped in the pay it forward giveaway. Um, and there's this one as well. This was Sugar High. Can't remember what number that was. Missed it. 19 was it again um this is one that i've had open already um, but i'll put the sealed one into the giveaway uh this one is called number two cover up this is one i don't have and this is like a a deep a dark nude a darker nude it's like a a soft brown a light brown or a dark nude i don't know what you want to call it a nice tan colour. <laughs> and then, I didn't realise I had this one, but I do have this one. Number 36, Paradise. This is the most gorgeous red. I got this actually in a Christmas. They sent me a bundle of Christmassy colours. Um, and this came in the packet of that. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing red. And then, this one I don't have, which is called Wanted, number 17. Oh, I really like this colour as well. Oh, look at this colour. Oh, boom how nice is that that just that just shouts winter sweater nails to me oh, look and those two together would be really nice really nice yeah i like those okay so moving on we have got two more of these little gel pots so we've got 006 003 and we're going to open this one first again they all come sealed which is nice and the seals are on there but they're not too difficult to get off which i like <coughs> got a tickly throat and this one it this would have been really nice for st patrick's day wouldn't it a beautiful olivey green holographic gel 
polish color i don't know <laughs> what i don't know what i'm saying but i do know i'm just saying it would this one was like oh yes i love this one look at that i'm actually gonna we're actually gonna try this one out today over number 17 wanted the color that we although they're not quite the same i mean it probably should have gone over a pink really but look at it it's well nice okay then they sent a little lamp i've never really been truth be told never really been too keen on these little tiny lamps but they do have their uses so you know it's nice to have one handy um this one comes with a i think that's a usb c type thingy isn't it and then you've got the usb thingy on the other end so you just you just plug it in and it'll work but it reminded me of uh pac-man yum 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 so yep <laughs> a shell uh, a hybrid pac-man that looks like a shell um and then uh these oh i was really really like oh i was delighted with these little pom-poms and the good thing about these is so there's pom-poms and then there's matching hearts right but look they come on magnets so you could put the magnet on the nail ready look and then if you wanted to if the if the pom-pom thing or the heart was just getting in the way you could just take it off and they're just oh, just stupidly cute i love them and look you get a green one a turquoise one or a bluey one a pink white black mustard tan red bright orange gray black pink just oh yeah did i say white i don't know but you just get loads of, oh, it's just lovely. It's just lovely. I love it. And they all come with magnets. So, yeah. I definitely need to try some pom-pom nails because I haven't actually done any ever in my life. Even though I, I, I have pom-poms. I have some really nice lilac pom-poms from Shein, I think. Or AliExpress. I don't know, somewhere. Um, but, yeah, really like this packet. Right, and then I'm going to show you. <clears throat> so, these are, this is a whole separate gel polish set. Okay, I was going to do a set of nails with these, but to be honest, I'd done one and I struggled and I didn't like it. And I, I just felt like it was too, the colours for these, the ones that I chose, the original gel polish set that I chose was like really bright, vibrant cat's eye colours, uh, nice summery colours. These ones, I've had colours like this before and I, I struggle, I still struggle with them. But I just think they're, I just find them like too autumn-y. Um, although they're lovely, I just, I was struggling, I'm not going to lie. So I thought, well, I'll show you the colours um, and you can have a look for yourself. And they will be on, they're, they're on Vetsy's um, website now. Um, I'll put my discount code down below. The discount code isn't available on the mystery boxes. And also, I didn't know this until the other day, you can actually only use the code once. So if you've already used my code, I'm sorry, but it won't work again. Um, but if you're new here, you can use my code, which will be at the bottom of the screen. And you can save 20%, I think it is, which is always a result. Um, okay, so uh, I wanted to try out some bits and bobs. So I thought we'd try Maldives because I haven't actually swatched that yet. Uh, and Wanted because, the yeah, it's lovely. Um, the only the thing I thought find with these gel polishes, because they're solid, I like to do thin coats because they won't self-level. And sometimes that means you might have to do three layers. I actually only done two on this set. But I want to try some foils with the foil gel and because it's easter and it's springtime i thought i'd do some tulips now if you've watched my previous videos using foil gel you'll know that i have had trouble with it wrinkling or parts of the foil even though i try my best to rub the entire nail there are like little tiny bits that although it doesn't make it's not a massive deal there are tiny bits that sometimes don't want to come off the actual foil um <clears throat> but i mean overall excuse me um, the foil dry is pretty good, but this one, so it's come out, firstly bonus, it hasn't wrinkled, um, so I'm just rubbing, the, and then look, I rip it off, look, there's absolutely nothing left on the backing of that foil, I was like, oh, this is a good start, so I thought, right, I'll try again, so I'm now using the pinky red tulips, this time I only put the foil gel, uh, yeah, halfway down the nail, because I'm only doing the bottom, um, next time I'd probably do the whole thing because you might end up with a bump on the nails. But let rip it off like a wax strip. It's like all of the all of the design is on the nail, and that has got to be a first, right? And then I thought, right, I'll try a bigger one that covers the whole nail. So on this one, um, I went for a kind of another spring-looking. Can you see? I've cut it out. It's on the left, on the left, on top of the 
Oh no, it's not. It's the one underneath. Sorry. I thought it was the one on the top. I was getting confused. <coughs> oh, I've got a tickly throat. <laughs> right, that's going to go in the lamp. So I just wanted to show you there how much gel I was putting on. And this one is going to cover quite a lot of the nail. Now, if you look, I don't actually press. I don't think I press properly right at the free edge. But I do... I do, I do actually, I'll go off screen so you can't see very well. I had to take it off and do it. But I'm pretty sure I missed the very, very free edge, right? So when I come to rip it off, oh God, I'm so, I said, God, I'm so sorry. Um, blaspheme, that is. Um, look, it's, look, not, there was only like a little tiny, tiny bit at the bottom. Oh, and the top. <laughs> but I mean, that's really good. I mean, I, this foil, yeah, I, this foil glue, I would recommend absolutely. It was brilliant. And then I thought, right, we'll stick a butterfly on this one. Even though that's not a butterfly, that's a ladybug. And again, right, I get my tweezers, pull it off. Like nothing on the foil. So yeah, that foil gel is brilliant. Okay, then on the other two nails, no, 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 no. We're going to matte top coat these, because why not? <clears throat> I'm just going to have a quick drink, hang on. Oh, I do like a bit of imp toe. <laughs> okay, yeah, so uh, top coat all the, all the nails, because apart from the, or do I? Hang on. Oh, no, 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 just, I'm just doing these three nails, but I'm faffing around as well. Okay, so this is 003. This isn't a solid one. So if you hold this one upside down for too long, it will fall out. But I thought, right, we'll go over the top of this gorgeous muted pinky lilac with this gorgeous rosy coloured hollow glitter gel. Glitter. And it's just stunning. Look at it. So shiny. Oh, I love shiny things. <laughs> magpie uh that's gonna go in the lamp and then over the, that one we're gonna put the normal top coat this is the glossy top coat this one although it does not say it it is no wipe i do prefer top coats in bottles though i'm not gonna lie there we go you can turn it upside down for a little bit just to level out to make it nice and smooth if you want to oh it's so pretty and then the time has come. All right, I've matte top coated that other nail that we've done. The time has come to try out the the gem glue, rhinestone glue, they, they call it. Right, I'm going to take one of the bigger embellishments and some of those smaller embellishments. Right, there's no seal in this one. I was like, oh, I wonder if I have to pick a seal off. I like that it comes with that little tip. Um, do be careful that the only, the only thing about this one, look, I put way too much on and it's quite runny. Um, it's a bit like top coat consistency so it wouldn't be any good if you were doing clusters but it would be good for like small flat back crystals or little like these little embellishments that i'm using here um actually that big i'm going to flash cure this quickly before i put it in the lamp because knowing my luck it will move <coughs> um <coughs> sorry um what was i going to say I don't know. Right, I'm going to carry on adding. <coughs> oh dear. Hang on. <coughs> oh, I wish I could sneeze quietly. I don't know how people sneeze quietly because I feel like their, their head must explode from the inside. Like, oh, I just can't do it. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting a couple more embellishments on there. And then when they come out, I just did that and I gave it a wiggle because I wondered, like, is that going to come? It was actually on there really tightly. So that's obviously a good sign. So yeah, um, I mean, I don't know how it's gonna wear because obviously I'm not gonna wear it, but first impressions on the gem glue is a good one. Um, just remember that it is it is a runnier one, not a thick one. So there we go. Anyway, um, thank you Betsy for sending me your mystery box. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. I was just like, what? If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. Um, my Betsy discount code will be down below. And yeah, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> God bless and I will see you tomorrow. Love you all.